I have one messy coder back again with another part of my sci-fi face-off, this time with Zemo Catalan's Sci-Fi Industrial Level Kit version 2. Zemo Catalan was part of my live dev anniversary stream on all the w's.twitch.tv slash the messy coder. He popped in, we had a fun chat and I mucked about with his this asset and also his house assets as well. I thought to myself at the time, what a beautiful sci-fi pack. This would make a great addition to my sci-fi face-off. So here we are back inside unity running around running through corridors getting ourselves in trouble playing about with the reactors start the reactor so sit back enjoy and i'll see you all in a second I'm inside Unity, I've loaded up the demo scene A from Zemo Catalan in the Sci-Fi Industrial Level Kit 2, otherwise known as Selk. This is $70 on the Unity Asset Store, so it's in the high end of the Sci-Fi face-off packs that we're playing about with. Does it justify that high cost? Well, it's a 1,004 prefabs, 95 textures, 39 PBR materials, 4 scenes, including one of the asset libraries that we're going to play about with, so you can really say the be real about scenes and um, look at the textures look at the texture on here the textures on this pack I love them they are beautiful to play about with look at that they are some of my favorite textures I've played about with on assets from the asset store I have to say there are some of them a little bit hit and miss you do get a couple which make you go hmm okay bit odd bit odd choice there and we found a few little bugs here and there that I've sent to the developer and he's fixed and bowled out with a hot fix and hopefully some more fixes to come. So I'm really happy with the developer's response to get quick feedback and fixes and always happy to receive feedback. Also, I'm going to say that the kind of style that you get here in this pack is more unique than some of the other ones that we've looked about in the Asset Store sci-fi pack face-off. And as you can see, we've got corrosion, we've got dirt, We've got scratches. It's not clean. It is lived in. This is an uh, industri industrial estate here. Uh, actually, you could use this for anything. This could very easily be a spaceship. You know, the interiors of a spaceship, the exteriors of a spaceship. This could very, e very easily be um, anything. It doesn't have to be some kind of weird sci-fi factory. Also, I love the little water puddles that you've got on the floor. And look at these little cheats that he does every now and again. You've got these mesh here or the chain and inside you've got just a plain texture on a cube. Very clever at making the most out of what you get to optimise. Because the whole point of you buying this to, to make a game out of. So you want it to be performing well. And we're getting, you know, not bad. 250, 300 FPS as we're running around this place. So I can't really complain about that. The little things here and there that uh, you know uh, make me scratch my head. I'll show you here as we're looking down. Keep your eyes as I'm, there's a reason why I'm looking down as we're going up. And as you hit here, you see this line, this separator. It makes a sense. But when you get here, you see that it doesn't really line up to how this one was. And this line here. See this? Forget the Z-Fine going on there. But you really want a piece that can you can have a corner. So just you don't no really gonna notice that probably in your game running around but I, I noticed that and I picked up and again as you come along here bang you see how you'd be good if you had you know put that down um, and line it up there obviously put it down so it matches and you don't have overlapping models but you know use a snapping tool use a snapping tool it's got a little gap in there I can tell that he hasn't really used a snapping tool or something like Pro Builder or putting this together. But for something put together this size, I mean, fair play. Oh, I just fell down there. So I was so engrossed with the scenes. You get a lot of these boxes. They can't open them. You can't open them. They're just containers. Well, containers without lids, so fuel storage or whatever. One thing I would say is that the buttons on his interface are always a bit flat. Always a bit flat when you compare them to how lovely everything else is and look at this here these walls oh they're lovely they really do I do love them let's go and let's go back up to the top there i've got one around tubes uh, one of the things i love is if you look up there's always something going on there's always some detail something happening 
which you know really does make me happy. It's those kind of things. This really could be a game. I could be running around in a game right now. This is a very good sign. It makes it difficult, this sci-fi face-off. makes it very difficult to score assets because the quality is so high. And here we've got this door. I wanted to show you that door before the door. Oh, oh let's go and have a look at this one here. This door that won't open. So originally, this was all flat. Uh, I gave my feedback, came back. And as you see here, it's got some 3D... Um, some detail on that it's, it's, it's lovely the, what I was saying about hit and miss on the textures like here you see this little circle that pixely circle dial that, that we don't know what that is that that little bit there see everything else lovely and then you just got weird little pixely bit there a little hit and miss every now and again and this little control panel here so everything this which is odd you look at this it's beautiful it's lovely and then you go oh, okay odd very odd Again, doors are going to open. Are you going to notice it? I don't know. You can always tweak it yourself. Look here again. F flat texture on there. Very clever. Some some cabling tubing going on there to make it come out, make it alive. Um, that noise you hear is my cat behind me. Okay, is this going to open? Yep, yeah, beep. Let's go here. Is that the way we came in? No, I think it's a different one. That's pretty much it for this massive demo scene. Let's go run around into another demo. I actually prefer, this is the newer demo scene, I think. I Colliders and everything as well, which I love. Love the fact there's colliders and everything. I wonder if there's anything in here. Is there anything in here? Hmm. No, I don't think there is. Let's go and... Um... Oh, I was going to double jump up there. It's a game in itself. Oh, that's hardcore. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, baby. I wonder if we can go in there. Can we go in there? Is that a wall? That's just a wall. Again, let's go around. See what you can see here? I love it. I really do. Maybe we can go in this room. Can we go in? <gasps> we can go in. Ooh. I haven't been in here in the demo. I haven't been in here. This is exciting. This is new. Atmospheric, a bit spooky. What's going to go on? Is there going to be a monster? Beep. Hmm, okay. That was it. Interesting. But it was, it was a nice little pop corridors. Let's pop. I wonder what over there. What's that one? Access 6. Can we get into Access 6? Access 6? No. Access. Access. I can't even say the word. Access 6 is closed. Try and say Access. I say, I can't even say it again. Try and say that word 10 times fast. I'll give you a sweet if you can. Oh, this one's closed as well. Let's pop into the other demo scene. Do, 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 do. Now I want to go into demo scene one. There's another demo scene which is just a load of camera shots, which eh, doesn't really interest me to tell you the truth. This one does though. I love this demo scene. I love because okay, here you've got these cupboards. Uh, there's an open one. Here's an open one here. The pivot points are in the right place. Love the fact that you can open. I want more cupboards. I want more cupboards. I know you get a thousand or four prefabs in this pack, but it is 70 bucks. And I am a bit greedy when it comes to my 70 bucks. I would like more cupboards, more um, props that we can live in. I would like that. I would like more props to live in. I love this, I love this texture. Um, again, look at the ceiling. Now, if you notice, it, as we're running around, you've got these frames here. These are great. And they've got the scratches. Because it really feels like, again, see fine. Be careful as you're putting your stuff together yourself. Okay, let's pop around here. Oh. Now, I would like to see a little bit of difference going on in here. That would be nice. Just put something there to have a connector rather than that beam just going straight into the ceiling uh, let's go over here to these computer screens and you can see what i mean about the buttons buttons need to be a little bit more uh, a bit more detail going on this computer and, the, and these screens have to be animated in my opinion they're beautiful screens but they're not animated and it loses something there dot team did a great job with their animated textures i really enjoyed that hats off to them and let's pop now. Let's go. 
like look at that plastic warpy look going on here. Let's go down. See what I mean about this could easily be a spaceship. This could easily be a spaceship. Like in the in the engine room of the spaceship. Or a space station. Deep Space Nine, Baron 5 kind of thing. See what I mean about here? This could be very easily in the spaceship. Just close the top off. So it's closed. Love all of these. I really feel like oh these are here for safety. I'm gonna fall down, break my neck. Don't burn yourself. You've got these on there to protect people. Lovely little touches like that. Lovely little touches. Really feels like this is something that people are working in this industrial station. But one thing that is missing is uh, to have some kind of lab, some kind of medical facility, uh, sleeping quarters, or even an office um, to muck about in. Now you've got computers. I'll show you if we go up here. Again, we've got these computers here. We've got these computer screens, not animated buttons. Yeah, should have been. Oh, just throw in some a version with some buttons. But you know, you're saying this is an industrial estate, and if you go to your mechanics, you'll see that they've got that um, those computers that have got plastic over this over the keyboards, and the keyboards are just um, not mechanical keyboards. They're like these, so that you can't get any grease or any dirt in them and break them. So I can understand that's probably what it's like in the future in this in sci-fi industrial estate. Kind of makes sense then. Also, don't get any moisture in there. And that's pretty much it. That's how I look. we went around the other side. Well, there. So you, there's a lot. There's a lot of goes on. And you're asking yourself, where are all these a thousand prefabs? Where are these thousand prefabs? Well, if we go into the asset library, if we pop into the asset library, I think I shoved it on a fly cam. Pretty sure I did. Hello, I said library. Is Unity taking a while before it responds. Hello. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here we are. Now look, this is your thousand prefabs that you're getting in this pack. Let me just go out here so you can see. You've got pre-made uh, buildings over here. And you've got pre-made hallways over here and corridors. Which is a nice little touch. So you just modularly just snap them all together. Makes your life a lot easier when wanting to put together. Oh, this one's here. You go. Interior is down here, and up here you got single-sided a lot of stuff. As I say, optimization. So the pack is all about optimization. Really are. What are we going here? Oops, should we go inside? Is it? Uh, there's nothing inside but us chickens. Nice having that. That's a. Oh, you want to put something there to not make that see through? I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that for now, because that, that gives the game away a bit, doesn't it? That gives the game away a little bit. Put one of those fake, fake interiors. So, um. What do I reckon? What do I reckon for this pack? Well, a thousand prefabs is huge. You've got so much going on in this pack. The textures are lovely. Every now and again, you've got some weirdness going on with the textures, like on that door. I like to see those resolved. I like to see more updates going on. I like to see more props. Um, I like to see, look, we've got in here this kind of control room type area that you can build with these computers and these chairs. And I forget, you know, you've got these covers that can open. But I want to see more props. I want to see more uh, components we could put together to make our freaky sci-fi industrial place. You get all of the modular wall pieces and floor pieces that you need to be able to build any kind of combination, any kind of layout you want. You go, oh, look at these. You can even just, you don't have to be um, mounts here and foundation and pillars. They could be anything. You could this could be a um chiro chamber. You know it could be anything on that. A lot of tubes, a lot of doors. As I say, pretty much everything that you need to make your sci-fi world. It doesn't have to be a factory industrial estate. It could be anything. It could be a spaceship. That's what I'm gonna use this for. Problem is that because it's so gritty, so the textures are so lovely, it makes it difficult to fit into some other assets. 
the creepy cat and obviously the barking dog made by the same artist so there's a it feels like those packs can be used together quite easily because they're the same pretty much same style but yeah, this is more Star Wars than Star Trek I think creepy cat is more Star Trek clean and this is more Star Wars gritty dirty realism um, let's have a look prefabs let's see if we've got any look we've got equipment oh we need to do re-import so here we go we've got prefabs and version one and then we've got it's a little bit easy because it, it done it this way so when you update it does the update not to break your projects which i really respect and appreciate um it does make it a little bit difficult when you're trying to find everything Archaeology, archaeology, architectural uh, components in the season in the version two update. In version one is where we got like equipment props because I can't see equipment props in the version two. I can see pipes, doors, decals, columns and beams. Interesting. I'm gonna play about some more. I'm gonna muck about, and then we're gonna load up another pack for the sci-fi face-off, and we're gonna try again to see because it's very difficult to score these packs they're all so good I need one that sucks we need to find a pack that really sucks I'll tell you that if anyone knows of any really bad asset packs let me know so I can review them because so far everything is too good too good indeed right so if you do like these videos you want to see more click on that big juicy red subscribe button tell all of your friends your neighbors about the messy coder can't make up his mind which asset pack he likes the most and if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.